Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. We have a Yeezy problem. Uh, I, I've been trying this thing where when we get a Yeezy problem, I do an extra bonus problem. Um, I am not doing that today. I am resting a little bit. Yesterday I went a little bit hard, I suppose. Uh, today my body is definitely feeling like uh, I could recover from it. Um, and also, but... That's not the main reason. The main reason is because I think after this, I'm going to go for a run, just a recovery run, maybe like, um, I don't know, 10K or something is my goal, so, uh, or six miles or something. Um, so, and it's already 9 p.m., so I'm probably a little bit falling behind. Uh, just a very rest day, just walking around a little bit. I mean, I I did end up walking about eh, 6.6 miles, so like 11K uh today just walking around so n nothing too strenuous but, uh, but i do want to get some mileage out so yeah so let's take a look at today's easy problem and let's get to it also uh, i i always record these like in the evening so i don't always remember what the day of the year or whatever it is uh so yeah so for those of you who celebrate happy father's day i don't know if it's i don't know if it's um the same in the united states or in other countries so let me know. All right, let's take a look at today's problem of 2016 maximum differences between increasing elements. Okay, so maximum difference between ends of I. Did we do this problem lately? Oh no, we did, oh wait. Wait, let me see. Max increasing, okay. Does it have to be adjacent? No, okay, oops. They don't have to be adjacent. Okay, I was thinking of the circular one where you look at it next to it. But okay, so I mean, uh, n is actually a thousand. I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna say n may be big, so you cannot do n square. But actually, for this problem, you can do n square. And I don't know if this that would be for the best, but it is possible. And mouse, my mouse is doing way really twitchy right now, so I can't really control anything. Uh, okay, uh, we'll have to. Okay, now it's back again there's some something weird going on but in any case um n square will be fast enough that'll be too easy so maybe the the in between to see if we can do it in better than n square let's see what it is asking right so that means that for every number we want a previous number that we've seen before that is smaller than the number so that's really i mean you know so going from n square to all of n should not be that difficult right because the um you you have to figure out these properties and then also figure out how they relate to each other, right? Because that means that here, what, what, what does maximum difference means, right? Differences mean, right? Maximum differences means that, okay, well, now you have some uh, num sub j minus some num sub i, right? Well, to maximize this thing, well, you want two things, maybe independently if you, you know, but... Maybe independently, you don't have to, depending on your complexity, which is to maximize num sub j, but also to minimize num sub i, right? And that's really it. Uh, um, you can write this in a number of ways, uh, just from this and in linear way. And also that already gets you this increasing difference thing, right? Because, I mean... It's not the entire way, but technically, I guess if it's all decreasing, then this would be negative. So you can maybe do a quick check for that, right? But otherwise, um, yeah, otherwise you just do something like maybe uh, max is equal to, are they all negative or positive side? Yeah, okay. And then min is equal to say infinity, right? And then now we have four x in nums. Uh, well, min is you go to, we might not, we might have to move this back a little bit, but um, yeah, maximum differences. So, so the best, let's just say it's zero, uh, right? And then best is you go to max the current number minus the minimum number, right? Uh, a minimum num number that we have seen before. So th that's what you get. Uh, and then now we set it as we see it before. And technically from here, you, get, you don't even have to see max. Maybe you can write something like max is equal to max x of mx, right? And then you can put max here. But of course, that doesn't really change anything, right? Uh, 
because in this case maybe I add an if statement so it doesn't really it's not necessary but you can do it it you know uh, you could write out the if statements if that's the case and maybe oh there is an oh I was gonna say um, actually I wasn't sure whether there was gonna be a case where there's no decreasing um, elements or only decreasing elements so in this case we turn negative one but that's fine easy we just do best as you go to negative one and we should be good uh, yeah, let's give a quick submit. Hopefully I didn't make a silly mistake, and I did make a silly mistake with zero. Huh. Oh, because it has to be... Eh, this is what happens when you try to be too clever and quick. Um, I guess that I think they're all unique. They're not all unique. I must be thinking of someone else. But, um, okay. It just means that the two numbers that are I, I, the same, I suppose... And then because of this two numbers that are the same, then this uh, goes to zero. So yeah, so basically, uh, okay, maybe I was just being lazy uh, and didn't really think free, think things through. So basically, uh, the main number has to be less than or strictly less than x, and that would be it. Um, uh, honestly, very silly and lazy by me, even on an easy one. But um, yeah, let's quickly run it to make sure. Quick submit. And we are Gucci. But yeah, um, sometimes you have to be really precise about your definition. And I definitely, uh, as you, hopefully you can learn from it, uh, is that, uh, you know, you're not imprecise. Then here, uh, when I didn't have this, um, when min is, you go to x. Well, that is not, you know, that that is not the definition of strictly increasing, which we messed up. Um, I thought maybe, uh, you know, setting this to infinity... And saying this to negative one could change a thing, but I guess there's a case where this is zero, and when it's exactly zero, um, it is not invalid or whatever. Uh, all right, so not a good day in terms of just like silliness, but uh, I am gonna go for my one. So thanks for watching. That's all I have for today, though. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>